All right, guys, I just got my first fish hooked up here. It is pouring the rain, and this is a great fish. I mean, it is a good fish. I don't think we're going to get him in before we get to the pillars. Fish is in the net. Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to make it. We're on again, guys. This is going to swim up river to me. I hope he comes all the way up to the kayak. Early just dropped this bait down and it already got slammed. And it is the biggest fish I've had so far. All right, y'all, here we go. We're going to go out here and fish this tournament this morning. It's my next to my last day on this uh, two-week adventure on the Tennessee River. We are up at the dam. If you watch my previous video, we're going to bump the dam just like we did that day. Then I'm going to bump down and uh, fish that hole down here that I showed you where the current seam's at. Then uh, if we don't have any fish by then, we're gonna load up and go to where you saw me in a previous video, down in some deep holes and some rock structure about 15 minutes down river from here. So stick around, come along with me. We're gonna go out here and see if we can't kick these boys butts in this tournament. All right guys, I just got my first fish hooked up here. It is pouring the rain and this is a great fish. I mean, it is a good fish. I'm hoping I can get him landed before the pillars, before I get to them pillars down there because they kicked the current up just as I was coming through them. So I don't know if I can get back up here or not. I'm sorry if the camera's blurry. I'll wipe it off in a minute. Oh Lord. Come on, buddy. Come on. I don't know how much of this is current and how much of it's fish, but he's staying down and he's swimming up river, so. Oh, he's a good one. Yeah, he's gonna take off now. I don't think we're gonna get him in before we get to the pillars. He is a good one. I just need to get him in here for this tournament. Let's see what he's gonna look like here. I thought he was gonna come up. Pretty sure it's gonna be a nice fish. He's staying, trying to stay up and down with me. He's not trying to use the current very much, so. We got lightning, we got trains, we got rain. Oh yeah, we need this fish. Go get him. 
up in the net fish in the net oh no I don't think I'm gonna make it Close. Look how close I got to the pillars, y'all. Yes. Let's start the day out with a big fish. All right, guys. I've got to run up, get out of the current for a minute. There's y'all. Look at him. I'll show him. All right, y'all. There he is. I got him at 39 inches on the board. We're gonna let him go so we can catch him again. There he goes, swimming off. That's what we want. We're gonna go do it again, y'all. We're on again, guys. This is gonna swim up river to me. I hope he comes all the way up to the kayak. Yeah. Come here, big boy. Y'all, if I beat Justin with one rod, he ain't never gonna hear the end of it. Never. It's gonna be another good one. It's hard to tell when you get up here in this fast current. They're hitting right down next to the bridge, so it makes it hard to get them landed before I get to them pillars. He's gonna show me what he's got. Oh yeah. Guys, even small fish are a fight up here in this fast flow. If you ain't never tried this, you gotta try it. Oh. He might be bigger than the last one, y'all. Move this rod. Get my net while he's pulling. Come here, fish. Don't make me go through the pillars. He's gonna make me go through them. Digging, boy. Mm. Looks like maybe kayak might coming up through here. Oh. 
He was supposed to have been here earlier, but I kind of figured he'd lay down on me with the rain coming. I can get him up without going back in the current right there. Nope, didn't get enough. Oh no, and the weight's hung. Oh no, that's not good. I've got to drive around through the pillars here. Oh no. This is all bad right here. I'm sideways with a fish in the fastest water here. just kill the motor oh no get this fish it's gonna be a miracle y'all ah, the hook or the nets hung We got him in the net. And he's in the boat. Yes. Now if I can get back up through them pillars to get one more of these, we've got a real good shot, y'all. Yes. Let's motor over here in this slack water. shaking got that one at 38 inches they ain't 40s but they close I think if I can get one more of these fish I'll I'll have a good shot with this tournament I'd like to get one bigger to try to wrap up big fish too but We'll take what we can get. Let's let him go. Get everything reset. Oh, he's ready. Let's let him go. Get everything reset. And uh, get back up here. See if we can get back through these bridge pylons. I think I can. It's just going to be tight. But we'll, uh, we'll get up here and we're going to fish around and find out, guys. We own them. All right, guys, so after the first hour, that gives me 76.75. Mark Bennett's the only other one to catch a fish. He's got a 32.75. So everybody else is having a struggle bus this morning for the first hour. I hope we can continue this trend all day. I hope we can just absolutely whoop the snot out of Justin Johnson and me using one rod and him down there fishing the big fish waters of the entire Nickajack Lake and I'm up here at the dam with one rod. Y'all we are between the pylons and if you can tell we're barely making it up through here. If they kick the water up again we're probably not going to make it back. So we've got to try to get these fish landed before we get down to these pylons. We made it but I was 
probably down to a half mile an hour right there but right around them pylons is where i've caught my two fish at this morning so i've had several hits up here above it so i'm not going to eliminate going above up to the upper part of the spillway here but my confidence is right there right in front of them pylons where you see me guys catch them two fish so we're going to try this as long as we can once they up the flow y'all seen that video the other day down there where them uh pillars are at for the the barge pile on tile things we we caught fish there too so i'm just trying to fish this while i can literally just dropped this bait down and it already got slammed and it is the biggest fish i've had so far i mean i dropped it down and it got smoked I'm gonna try to kill the motor a little bit so I can get him up before I get to the. Uh, we got thunder and lightning. It's about to come a good storm on me right here. Come here, big boy. <laughs> Don't go over there. Come over here. Come over here. All right, we caught up to him. Now I'm going to kick the motor back up two notches there. Move this. Good night. He's pulling, boy. Y'all might have to help me hold on to this one. Oh yeah, definitely my biggest one so far, I believe. Oh yeah. Now if I don't botch this net job. He ain't done yet, but I need to get him in here. Yeah, he's definitely the biggest one so far. Oh, and I can't get him up no further. He's in the net. <laughs> get him up in here. Catch my motor and get back up to the slack stuff. y'all we're good now the storm is blowing in we've got this fish up here in the slack water where i can measure it and get everything took care of we got old kayak catfish on the phone here to talk a little bit of smack to him oh he's done fell on the boat ramp and hurt his pride this morning i hope he puts that in his video i wish the camera had been rolling that would have been gold ah uh, this one ain't quite 40 he's 30 39.75 I can probably get him at. Well, your board always did measure four feet, uh, fish four inches longer. Yeah. Well, that's how you need it, bud. <laughs> oh, crap. My camera won't turn on. There we go. Hey. Oh, I got him at 40, bud. Okay. Well... On your ass it's like starting it it's starting right now well, if you get what we're getting you're about to be in trouble is it windy and stuff that bad let's let this fish go guys there he, well, he was ready sideways here right now. oh lord but i mean that's you know i don't know where i I'm can at. see I'm it south to you. yeah i can see it i'm uh i'm pulling up my radar app right now let's see what this looks like y'all Oh yeah, it's about to, uh, I couldn't even make it back to the car right now. I'm just going to have to fish through it. You're a better man than me. My ass in the car. I ain't risking my life over no damn fish. 
The good news is, is most of the red kind of dissipated a little bit. I think after this line goes through, it's just gonna be a little rain after this. What sucks is if I actually do hook a fish while this storm is hitting, there's no way I'm gonna measure it. I mean, you just put it on the side of your kayak and wait. Just tie him up. Just leave him, leave him on the hook, put another hook in him or something. Yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna jump off here and try to go figure this out, but that was my third one, so I'm I'm pretty happy. Third one yeah, in less It's yours today, buddy. Well, um that's what winners do, bud. <laughs> I told you you all whooping the snot out of me last time down there at the Ohio River. Yep. Lit a fire. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad it lit a fire so much you're willing to risk your life to to win a tournament against twelve people. Well I ain't Red 11 ain't even on the water right now. <laughs> I, ain't, uh, I ain't saying everybody should do it, but I'm saying I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got Lindsay some life insurance policy so she'll be taken care of. Yeah, you. yeah. If not, she can live on this 1700 for the rest of her life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it coming up the river now, man. It's, uh, it's fixing to get wild. Yeah, well, enjoy it. All right, I'll see you, bud. We'll see you. Bye. Good one, guys. It's already came up. It ain't gonna, I don't think it's as big as them other ones, but we got rain, we got trains, we got big fish. This is a rough one here. I've been debating on running over there and running up under the little picnic shelter over there. After talking to Justin and finding out how rough this storm is. Oh. Oh, come on, pull, baby. Oh, that one's my that one's gonna help us out, I believe. It's gonna be close. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill the motor. This wind's blowing straight up river. Here he comes. Now we're gonna get to see him. I mean, I've seen him already, but I think Justin's right. I am a little bit crazy for this, but oh yeah, that's another another good fish. Can't get my trolling motor remote going toward these pylons. We're just gonna have to hold on. I'm gonna point us down the river, give it a little gas. I'll measure this guy and then I'll definitely go over to the shelter. good now we can concentrate on the fish oh I hope you guys can even see I can't see how he's hooked he's in the net We'll have to see if he's gonna help us or not. I don't know at this point. He's gonna be close. I think we gotta have bigger than a 38 and I don't know if he's gonna do it or not. I 
trying to come up with a better method here on this mess. I don't have room back here for all this. Don't flop, buddy. Let me get my phone. Oh no, I've lost my identifier, sure enough. Where did it go? Did I put it in one of my other pockets? Maybe I put it in there with my phone. No, I did not. Oh no. Somewhere around 38 and a half, 38 and three quarters. But uh, I'm gonna go over here and get out of the rain and hide from this wind for a minute. And then we'll make another game plan. All right, y'all. So that last fish gave me a quarter inch upgrade. That puts me at 117 inches. Um, I'm up here, as you can see, under the shelter waiting on this storm to pass I, I, I had a goal of 115 inches if i could put that up i'd have been happy after all my pre-fishing that was that would probably do my best day over so i've met my goal i'm above it i decided not to chance it anymore to come on up here get out of the weather and chill and then uh i think mark bennett has the one fish submitted and andrew green actually has a fish submitted so we're going to chill out here in this shelter and call and talk some trash to some of the other guys. I beat them with one rod so far and a hole in my kayak and a screwed up trolling motor. So out here, guys, after the rainstorm, I went over and hid up under the storm shelter thing at the park. We've hooked up with another one. I can't get back up through the pillars, but it don't look like I'm going to have to. So we're uh, right down here by the pylons, like I told you I was going to do with it they kick the water up i don't think this one's gonna be as big as the others but we're still catching now it's a little small guy come here buddy If we can just boat flip this guy. Oh yeah, he's look good. No net, no tangles on the bumping sinkers. Old catfish sumo hook got him right through the bottom of the jaw there. He wasn't going nowhere. Let's get him out of here and go get another one. Get me another piece of skipjack here. I'm cutting these up into cube pieces. Better keep an eye on that pile on. It's got a back eddy behind it that'll suck me right into it if I don't watch. So just I usually cut them fins off, but trying to hurry up so we'll just leave it hooked just like that get him back out there there's mike and his fish guys he has got a tank dude you gotta let go if i try to throw him in right now i'm going in he's got <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> he's got his finger in his mouth and won't let go uh, just pull it out don't be a baby oh holy shit now slide him in he's All good right, see you, bud. Now I'm going to go catch it so I can have a big fish of the tournament for the day. As I started working my way back down to the other spot down here, mainly just because I'm tired of running up and down the river, or up the back up the river, so I decided to just pull a long, long bump down through here. I thought this was going to be a small fish, but he's pulling now. Yeah, he's going to pull. The rain's finally stopped. Well, it ain't completely stopped. It's like just a a heavy a heavy sprinkle, I guess I'd call it. 
but it looks you can see the blue sky back there above the bridge I don't know if this is going to help or not he's probably going to be one of them less than 38 inches I think I need a 38 and a half to upgrade my smallest fish yeah this guy ain't going to do it he's still fun to catch Good fun size fish though. I don't want to net him if I don't have to. Yeah, we'll just roll him up in here probably. We'll just roll him up in here. If I can get a hold of that leader, that braid will cut you if you get a hold of it. Come here, buddy. He might be a little big for, uh, he was definitely a little big for boat flipping. I guess we'll uh, tie another hook on. I knew better than do that. I probably should have done retied that leader in the first place. Should have done retied that leader after all the fish I've caught on it, so it's all right. He broke the bad spot off. We'll just put a hook on it and go on. I hate losing that skipjack head, though. That, uh, that I might have one more fresh skipjack head, and so far, almost all my fish have been on skipjack head pieces. Mike's big fish was on a frozen skipjack head piece, so. I have a lot of other baits to try. I'll probably probably start trying to use them when I get down to the uh, down to the hole where I'm going to do some suspend fishing. We'll put out some different baits. We'll get us a uh, chunk of skipjack here and try that. I'm gonna get a big chunk. Get us a pretty good sized big chunk here. Not a great big piece, but cut the gut pocket off of it. We'll get it hooked back. We ready to go again. I'm gonna slide my float back down some here. It about destroyed my peg float on me. back down here and just go back to bumping we'll see you guys in a minute with the next one all right y'all we are now suspend drifting down here i'm going toward that spot if you watched a couple videos ago it'll be the spot where i caught that that toad i mean i caught several fish there one of them being the biggest fish of the entire two weeks i've been down here so i'm going to suspend drift down and go through it see how i do the sun has come out as you can tell and beaming down so i'm sure justin has finished his crying by now he might actually be out on the water doing some fishing um leaderboard has done some change-ups i'll do an update on that here in just a little bit but uh we've changed it up we're suspend drifting with four rods here we're gonna try that for a little bit the bite died up there after mike caught that big one and i caught that last small fish so We'll try this for, I don't know, hour, maybe two hours. Try that and see how we do and go from there. We on one, guys. We got down here to my big fish spot, so I got baits suspended and pleasure boats going every which way. Get him in here in just a second. I think that one was on a skipjack head. Yep, skipjack head. 
Go tell your mama what I done. Skip jackheads about had it, but I don't have no more fresh ones, so. Here we go, we're getting another takedown right here, guys. Hey, let go. Alright, we'll check in in a minute. Hey, Kayak Mike here, King Cat National Trail. Stop number four at Nickajack Reservoir. First, shout out to the Fleagles sponsor, and Charlie Fleagle here is our first ever youth competitor. And she had to fight pretty bad conditions earlier in the day, uh, so she got she got uh, her money's worth, to say the least, in this tournament for the first four hours. This is our award ceremony. Giant shout out to Daniel with Catfish Sumo right there. He's a sponsor of the trail. Giant shout out to Dustin Hoy with Raccoon Creek Outfitters. Shout out to Adam Fleagle again for providing all these trophies. And let's not waste any more time going to the awards. Today, third place with 109.25 inches representing Ohio, Matt Stewart. Where you at? Come on over here, Matt. <laughs> Come on, right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. right here, on my right side, right side. Second place with 114.25 inches and big fish of 41.5 from Tennessee, Patrick Mines. First place representing Kentucky and talking more trash than anyone I've ever known, <laughs> Ryan Bortz at 117 inches. First place, we, we unfortunately had a technical scratch this morning before it started. First place will be about, I want to say 1500. Second place will be about four or 500. Third, 150. Big fish, about 775, I believe. First time competitor, who's that? First time competitor, that's actually really important. Trevor Dorsett, you're going to win 150 bucks? Yeah. For first, oh, yeah. he, Trevor Dorsett is the highest placing first time competitor. And then we'll be doing a mystery fish. So we're gonna have five cashers uh, at the end of this event. Thank you very much, Adam. <laughs>